everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Odd Ones Out reaction. This one is called The Truth About Making Cartoons. Let's get into this right now. Go subscribe to James. Go subscribe to me with notifications on and make sure you like this video. Go watch the original video down below and let's get it in three, two, one, let's go. Hello, I just wanted to let you know that the Scribble Showdown tour is coming back. We'll be going to these places on these dates. If you're interested, then check out the link in the description. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Also, also, I have, I have facial, facial hair now. <laughs> Recently, I read the worst YouTube comment ever, and I can't stop thinking about it. This comment lives in my head completely rent-free. It lives in its own private Based AF. The comment was concerning my upload schedule, and it was, If anime studios can make an episode of anime in one week, then these YouTubers can make a video in a month. Initially, I reacted like, You think that's how this works? You think anime studios post an episode and go, Great work, team! Well, time to make the next episode this week! Hope you uh -huh. have any plans! I know the working conditions in Japan are bad, but sheesh! I guess all the animators are just slacking off between seasons then, huh? And as I thought about it more, I realized, hmm. ah, I can't get too mad. This person is just uneducated about the animation industry and is probably a minor. And then I thought, yeah. Hey, I know a bit about animation behind the scenes. Maybe I could talk about being an artist and educate people on the animation pipeline. So that way, I won't get any more uneducated comments for this video. When I say artist, I'm going to be talking about the Google definition of an artist. Noun. A person who produces paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby. You know, the pen and paper artists. I'm not really going to be talking about artists who make music or birthday cakes or take black and white photos of sunsets because... I want, I want to talk, talk about, about cartoons. cartoons. I make felt cartoons. cute. Now, it should come to no surprise. <laughs> I like that cats I'm too. A pro artist. Well, not a pro artist. Are you kidding? I know my skill level. I still can't draw fingers. What I'm saying is, I will support anyone who wants to make art. If you're making art as a hobby, then that's a really great creative outlet, and having something physical as an end result is incredibly rewarding. But if you want to turn art by into a full time job, you might want to sit down and consider a few things. Like, are you sure you don't want to go to law school? The biggest challenge all artists face is they have to eat food to survive. And in this capitalist society, food costs money. So artists are challenged to somehow take being good at making shapes and turn that into money. I know of four ways an artist can make a living. The first way is to be so good at art that people will pay money to hang it up in their house. The second option That's is to make caricature drawings at beaches and crazy. traps. The third option is to sell your plasma. And the fourth option, which is the most common option, is to make drawings that people will pay you to make. And do a little bit of option three on the side. Some artists will take commissions, which and, is basically... Yeah, I know what commissions going, are. Hey, I'll draw whatever you want, Asterix, for $100. And people will go, what the f***? Art should be free. I was going to give you so much exposure to my 50 Twitter followers. Or people will go, I want you to draw this cute animal character I made. And while at first your price might seem a bit high to the uneducated, I understand that art is a time-consuming process and you need to Those eat We need more so people like that. One hundo. But another somewhat more stable idea is that artists will get jobs at studios or work for a YouTuber and we'll be like, hey, we'll give you money if you draw specifically what we want. And if we don't like your art, we'll You're fired. Sure communicate clearly what we would like changed and work as a team to do the best we can. All righty. And that leads us oh. to animation. An important thing to remember for animation is that drawings equal time plus money. Exactly how much time? Well, to answer that one Lots question, of time. No, an anime studio does not make an episode of anime in one week. I think. South Park is what making an episode in a week looks like. Oh wow, odd ones out in South Park. Very impressive. I take months trying to figure out what the heck I'm even going to talk about. Making a single episode of a cartoon from scratch takes about two years. Don't believe me? Well, let's see what Yakko from the 2020 Animaniacs has to say in the very first episode. At least, we still think there's a President Trump. You see, the writers are writing this in 2018. Now that doesn't mean it took 26 years to make the first season of the Animaniacs. Wow. There's a lot of moving parts that happen when producing an animated TV series. For starters, the whole season of the show gets made at the same time. While the writers are writing episode 12, the storyboard team is boarding episode 3, and the design team is designing the bowling shoes that are going to be worn in episode 6. 
and it's someone's wow. entire job to make sure Incredible. that everyone's doing their job. This is called the Animation Pipeline. And there's so many other departments that I was recording, sound effects, screenwriting, storyboard, layout, if you're music. I'll do it, but just know that it takes roughly two years to make a season of a cartoon show. And that's why when shows reference memes, they're extremely outdated. You yeah. Like a boss. Yeah. Dead it's memes. Beautiful, isn't it? This exterior nighttime city skyline background. This background was drawn by one of my background artists, Annie Loomis, and it took seven hours to make. And it was used specifically for this clip. If it wasn't for the Cats movie, I would have thought Hollywood knew what they were doing too. It lasted for four seconds. Four. Seven hours of work, four seconds of content. Wow. Incredible. So before we continue, I'm going to make you all sit and appreciate this background for another four seconds so I can double the value of this background. Two, three. Backgrounds can be a time yep, that was four process, seconds. and the whole purpose of them is to be in the back of the ground. They're not even the focus. So storyboarders will sketch out a scene to set the staging mm -hmm. through layout, posing, and character expression. And during this phase, I'm trying to find places where I can reuse backgrounds or take pieces of other backgrounds and Frankenstein monster them together to make an entirely new background. Like how I used the city background to be outside this window. Or how I took the buildings from this background, the bushes from this background, and the bench from this background and made an entirely new background. And hopefully, none of you noticed. Am I being cheap? Or cutting corners? Absolutely. But that's the point. That gives another that's totally fine. more time to make something else. Like this James-themed city skyline. Instead of having to draw 20 different backgrounds of a bedroom. We already have a bedroom. Let's just do something else, please. It's not being lazy. It's getting the most use, the most mileage out of your hard work. I see this next story pop up on Twitter about every month, and it makes me want to stab my eyes out. If you look at this oh boy. From Jungle Book and this scene from Winnie the Pooh, these two similarly proportioned boys are eerily moving in the exact same way wait was this plagiarized did no. someone from winnie the pooh plagiarize the jungle book? no they're no. both owned by Remember disney what I said about drawings equal time plus money well back in the old days of animation before fancy graphics cards and floppy disks animation frames had to be physically painted onto floppy transparent sheets called cells so animated movies were essentially a really long flipbook with over a hundred thousand hand-drawn painted pages. Oh God. Drawings equaled even more time and even more money. This whole sequence had to not only be drawn 24 times a second, but it also had to have the correct timing to look like a little boy was jumping on rocks. Just cause you drew 24 Mowgli's doesn't mean they're gonna look good when you play the frames together. So if you're making a cartoon movie in the 70s and you need a scene where a young boy character is just being a dude and throwing rocks and <laughs> MLG a Mowgli fight scene, are you going to spend the time and money drawing another boy throwing another rock when someone <laughs> There goes Christopher Robin 10 years ago? Or are you going to reuse the animation the studio already made and then have more time and budget to make an even epicer fight scene? If these movies were from two different studios, then yes, they would be. Hey, yo, the bears! Story. Jesus but Christ! Disney owns this movement of our boy Mowgli, so they're allowed to use that movement on our boy Chris. Turning your art into a full yeah, boy job Chris. is very difficult. I'm extremely lucky to not only have this opportunity, but to be able to build an amazing team of talented artists to create these cartoons and share them with you. And because of you watching these videos and supporting me, oh, there goes the head. To reinvest money into the team so we can make better quality content and I can support more artists. It's a win-win symbiotic thing we got going on. So if you ever wanted That's to get so into nice. the industry, good luck, get drawing, and start but, putting that about that. together. I hope you all enjoyed this art rant. Considering that this video was all about artists, I of course have to give the biggest shout out to all the people on my team who made this video possible. So thank you, everyone. I also want to clear up a, That's a lot of people will support anyone who does art. Obviously, if your art is offensive or harassing others, then that's not chill. I just didn't want to derail the video and give that caveat in the middle of a video, so I'm doing it. Yeah, that's a good and idea. News, my board game, Cafe Chaos, is now available in Target just in time for the holidays. Or if you want to buy it online, the link will be in the description. Ooh. I'm going on tour with a bunch of friends in November. If you want to come yeah, see Jayden, us, yeah, Jaden. Uh, then again, check out the. Link I think, in the uh, yeah, Rubber Ninja. I see you there. Domix. It's 2 a.m. right now, so I'm going to bed. Peace. Peace. Later.
Anyways, guys, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to all ones out. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching, and deuces.